Robert Lynn's Forgetting is a very humorous essay analyzing of the fundamental reason for forgetfulness in humans. In his essay Forgetting, Robert Lynn writes about the root cause of forgetting and also explains what items are usually forgotten by people. Lind wonders at the efficiency of human memory. A person remembers telephone numbers, names of actors and actresses, addresses of friends and appointments for lunch and dinner. Lind says that human memory works with less than its usual capacity in taking medicines. Medicines are taken before or after meals. So the meal itself the reminder of taking medicines which be the easiest actions to remember. Psychologist interprets forgetfulness as people wish to forget. It may be due to antipathy. Lind humorously remarks that people do have medicines in their pockets but forget them. So they have to buy medicines again. This helps Hemus to make fortune. According to Lind, posting of letter is the commonest type of forgetfulness. The letter in his pocket leads an unadventurous life because it is a proof of his guilt of forgetfulness. The writer forgets books, walking sticks and umbrellas during his journey. Lin says that people wonder when they looked at the list of articles lost by young travelers. Sportsmen are the citizens of dreamland. Their minds are filled with games played and titles won. The angler's forgetfulness is due to his enjoyment in catching fish. Similarly, the poet's forgetfulness is due to a more glorious matter. Anglers forget their fishing rod and the poet forgets to post a letter appears to be virtue for the author. Good memory is very common. If a man doesn't have a good memory, we call him an eccentric. Lynn narrates a funny story of a father who takes his baby out in a pram. He enters a bar leaving pram outside. He forgets the baby and goes home. His wife who came for shopping took the baby to home. To her surprise, her husband never remembered about the baby. He is quite normal. Lin ends his essay by commenting that very few men below the rank of philosopher would be capable of such absent-mindedness as the man in the story.